Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. 47, come in. 47, do you come? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Baj Al Ghazali. to a building this tall if they have to walk all the way up. Fitness enthusiasts, masochists. Oh, they could open up the elevator shafts and maybe put in some rock climbers. <sighs> well, I'm glad you're taking this seriously. Forty-seven. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. Looking good today, I sir. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Six thousand. 
said dolls for something you're just gonna walk on. Gather up. This is Look, this is gonna make me look really bad. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. The colleague is also out there. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards, and trust you will do your duty. What's the update on my... You have your credentials on you? Well, this all looks very promising. Yes, good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. There on the day of his tragic death. Okay, this all looks very good. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24 7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important and delicate meeting today in which I expect you to keep your ears closed, but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. We are almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. That's where the talent hides. My father always used to say, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here, and I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I know you. <laughs> What to do Thank with you all service. that power? I'll take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. Hey! Oh. Ah. You got him, 47. 
Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. We're not done yet. Just a precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clear it. The name is Zayn Sir, I understand. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood. Twist. Now go away and binge eat some celery or whatever it is. Uh, can I help you? You're kind of inside my personal space. Who is throwing stuff around here? Come on! Jason! <laughs> what? Hello? Security? I need some help. This is crazy. I don't know what to do. Help me! What's going on here? I just heard someone getting a real beating. It sounds awful. Okay. I'll deal with it now. Who's fighting? Show yourself. What's that command? Okay, continuing search. Scan the area. I will not have any surprises. Loud and clear. All right. Sup? I just need to do a quick routine check if you want to get through. This is just standard procedure.
Thank you. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Hello, sir. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. How you been? Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. Mr. Look, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. feeling here. Where are you taking me? I'm sure we passed plenty of places where we could talk. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. <laughs> yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel.
Just keep calm. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Mr. Kazim, please, follow me. How are you, sir? I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. So I think for I mean, even longer than I have known generations of talent that would have flourished Everything without. here is Your completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. You have the picture? Hello, sir. Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Now wait, excuse we me. We have for a Ingram second. right I'll where right we want back. him. Please make yourself 47, you have know what to do. Stay for the meeting, I assume. That will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. Good idea. Oh, where was I? It's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over.
celebrating life. 